Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hunky Vape. I'm your host, DJ Alex. And today we're taking a look at the Kumiho Foth T. So ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we're taking and finally taking a look at this Kumiho Thoth T. And you're like, who the heck is Kumiho? Yeah, I know. I thought the same thing. So I did some digging like I normally do. And man, I come to find out that this is actually uh, manufactured by Health Cabin. Yeah. So you might have ordered some of the stuff that they have on their website. And well, they're making their own stuff under this Kumiho brand. And Kumiho is not like a brand new thing. This is not like the first thing they ever did. They have had multiple products out there. They've got the Thoth C, which is uh, kind of like this Freemax one or like this original Oxfa X Slim, right? And then on top of that, they've got a Thoth G, which is, you know, this upgraded. It's got a display on it and a bunch of other things. And then they got... It's all in the line of like letters, okay? So like if you look at the letter, you got a Thoth C, S, T, G, and V. And today, we're going to take a look at the Thoth T. And it's like, what is this? How does it work? Is it any good? Is this just some off-brand, you know, like generic stuff that we buy in the stores? Or is this actually truly paving their own way to a new line of products that, if it gets popular, man, they might come out with like rebuildable stuff? I don't know. What do I know? I'm just speculating at this point. So let's get into stuff that's not speculation. Let's flip it over and take a look and see what uh, what this thing's all about. Holy moly, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, so far, I I'm really liking what's going on here, okay? This is one of the rare times when com a company sends me something for review and they're like, hey man, we got this, we got spare pods, we got all different kinds of coils, and since we know that you want to review all the coils, well, we're going to send you, guess what? All of the coils. All five coil options are in here. And this is a great thing. Like you, if you're a brand new vapor and you're like, well, I don't know which coil I'm going to want. I don't know how much of a mouth to lung vape experience do I want. I mean, what better way for a customer to truly experience everything that your product is capable of doing than giving them one of each coil option so they can literally go from a direct to lung experience to a true mouth to lung experience. We got all five of these to go through. We have different pods that are available, ready to go. We have pods that you can go ahead and change the coils in both in a clear and an opaque version. And they have refillable pods that are already set up with the coil that is not replaceable. So depending on what the laws are in your area, maybe one, maybe all of these products are gonna be available to you. Or because of the restrictions in your area, you might just be limited to these, or you might be just limited to those. But without this, none of it's gonna work. So let's open and unbox this and find out what this is all about. That's awesome. Ooh, I love attention to detail. And let's take a look at this thing. That is tight in there. And holy moly, does that have some serious weight to it. Almost 142 grams for some comparison purposes. This is the X-Slim Pro. That's the X-Slim. That's the Feelin' AX from Nevox. And that's the Feelin' 2. 142 grams. Airflow with the holes. And you can adjust that down. Tension is on the lower end of the spectrum. I could see this catching on your pants. If you're shoving this in your jean pocket, I could see this airflow adjustment changing on you because it does protrude. 
just a millimeter, but sometimes that's all it takes. And I'm kind of glad that the back is actually a little protruded. So I don't know. That's how we test these things. They included a fidget spinner. And this doesn't spin, but allows you to fire the coil manually. Two contacts, two points of contact. The included coil is 0 0.8 ohms. They also give you this metallic lanyard. All right, well, that wasn't quite as hard to install as I thought it was going to be. Nice military style aesthetics to this thing. I guess this is supposed to be like a radio. The one advantage to this thing, and I don't know if you happen to catch it in the background on the TV back there, but this thing comes with a 1300 milliamp hour battery to ensure that you don't have to charge it all that often. All right, to put this into perspective, the original Oxva was a 900 milliamp hour battery. Then they came out with the Exlim Pro, and that's a thousand milliamp hour battery. Nevox Feeling 2 I just did is an 1100 milliamp hour battery. They skipped 1200 and went straight to a 1300 milliamp hour battery. How long is it gonna take to suck that battery dry? I'll answer that question for you before this review's over. But how about let's fill this thing up. And for this review, I'm going to start off with a 1.2 ohm pod that's available. And I think I'm gonna fill that one up with Fruition Juice Company's Sweet Apple Sugar Baby. This is a delicious combination of apples, blackberries, and watermelon. An extremely satisfying vape experience and a blend, a fusion blend of flavors. The 0 0.4 ohm coil that's available in this, I'm going to fill up with my DIY Sweetheart I Love You recipe. And I love that clear tank design there so you can truly see what level your e-liquid is at. And it does let you fill it up all the way to the very tip. This is available both in a standard and a TPD variety. TPD variety is gonna limit you to two milliliters and the uh, US version or the standard version is gonna be three milliliters of e-liquid. So I'm gonna give this thing a minute to soak up that lovely juice and uh, we'll flip it and see what my initial impression is of the Thoth tea. Well, while I'm waiting for this thing to soak up the juice into the coil, cause I don't wanna burn the cotton prematurely, make sure you wait five minutes after you fill your pod before you use it for the first time. Anyway, how about I showed you about the uh, five colors that are available for this thing. There's a beautiful armor black. We have a jungle green, a space gray, an arctic silver, and an eggplant purple. Man, did that soak up some of that juice. Or maybe I didn't tilt it enough to fill it the whole way. Hmm. All right, five clicks to turn this thing on. And that is your only indication that it's functional. Let's drop the coil in. Just read the coil. There's no way to set this or adjust this. Let's give it a try. Auto draw activation. Oh, wow. With this 1.2 amp coil, you turn the airflow all the way down to just a single opening on it. Boy, is that a smooth vape. And that 30 milligram juice I put in here has no bite to it whatsoever. Now, for flavor, the flavor's there. It's lacking in its sweetness that I normally get with other devices like this Nevox product I just reviewed. But the problem with the Nevox one, and I didn't use the 1.2 ohm coil. They had a one ohm coil I used. It's a little throaty. This one isn't throaty. 
But like I said, the sweetness is kind of lackluster in this for what that juice is capable of doing. And some of those flavor components are missing. Like all I'm really getting is the apple. Nah, nah, man. That flavor is lackluster in this 1.2 ohm coil. Let's switch over to the direct to lung coil. Okay, so I read the coil. That's not bad. Nice spicy notes from that sweetheart I love you. Nice warm vape. They got the settings right on that. Try the manual fire. Let's go wide open airflow since this is the 0.4 ohm coil. Nice. Okay, so the big difference between the mouth to lung and the direct to lung is about, I wanna say 80% of what I would like it to be. It's a nice warm vape, so the, the, the voltage that they have set for it and the wattage output is adequate. The sweetness, once again, is a little lackluster, but I'm getting more of the custardy notes than the fruity notes out of this. The dragon fruit's only presenting as a tickle in the back of my throat and not so much as in a recognizable flavor. All right, I'm going to go use this for a while. I'll use it tomorrow on the live stream. And... After a week or so, I'll plow through all these different coils and let you know what I find, my final thoughts are. So far, I'm not that impressed. Nothing really wrong with it, but it's not like the, where is it? The best of the best. Now that's flavor. Hmm. All right, I'll be back with my final thoughts. Hey, these people have been listening to my review for the last 12 minutes. You haven't played any music. What is going on here? You better play some music or I'm not going to give you my DIY rejects, all right? That's not appropriate music. Come on, come up with something good. You want, you want your peanut butter cookies tonight or what? Hired hands. Sorry, it's the best I could afford, folks. All right, all right, all right. Time for my final thoughts on this uh, Thoth Tea by Kumiho. Well, I've been using this thing now for well over a week. Three days, three whole days, I used this device exclusively, and that's how long it took before it killed the battery and the battery needed a full recharge. Plugged the thing in, went back to my glorious modern tank, Man, was I happy to go back to experiencing full potential of the flavors, both in commercial e-liquids and in my DIY e-liquids. However, my son pointed out that this thing is a beast. It's kind of like the old Motorola phone. You want this thing in your pocket and you want to know you got it so that you don't go looking for things unnecessarily. You will know if this thing is in your pocket. Now, uh, you're one of those people that walk around in shorts and you don't tie the tie on the shorts. This thing's heavy and it's gonna pull your pants down. But like my son points out, you got work pants on and you want something you know relatively indestructible and you wanna know it's there, this has got it. You need a fidget spinner on your vape, this thing's got it. Yeah, flavor's about six out of 10 with the uh, 
direct to lung pod, it's more like an eight out of a 10. If you want real flavor, you got the Oxva X Slim SQ Pro. Amazing flavor for this one. Flavor on this one is good, but that's about it. However, they did get one thing perfect for brand new vapors, especially. And even if you get a new product, it only comes with one coil. So you're gonna have to coil order coils anyway. Look for the multi-pack of coils. You get one of every coil that they make, Kumiho makes. And you can get in both in just the coils or in the pre-sealed pods. They're not sealed. You can fill them up with whatever e-liquid you want. So for you in New Zealand, this is right up your alley. You can change the coils out. You can buy individual pods. You don't have to replace them every time because you can just change the coils in those ones. That's a great feature I wish other people would do. Because sometimes you order a coil and it's like, <laughs> I ordered the wrong one. Now you can order one of every single one. You can try them out yourself and find out which is the perfect coil for you, the way that you use these things. So that's pretty much my final thoughts on this thing. Indestructible. The one's gonna go back with my son and uh, he's gonna use it when uh, he's out on the flight line. I really like this thing. I love the fact you could choose a clear pod or a dark pod. For me, it's all about function. Looks are secondary. And this thing works. It's supposed to be like a radio. My only request is somebody come up with one of these things that actually is a radio so we can listen to the ball game or sitting outside doing our chores and taking our break when we want to have a break. Other than that, man, what can you expect nowadays? These things are selling for peanuts. It's a good deal. And my wish is always, peace, love, and a hunky vape to end cigarette combustion. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great one.